Hermit Craft Season 9 is now available for downloads on the official Minecraft Marketplace. This map is completely free for players on iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. This is a very big download for the Minecraft Marketplace, with the actual map size being 407 NB. Now that's quite impressive because the original download was pushing one gigabyte. So it might take you a little bit of time to download it. Just make sure you've got space. This is quite impressive from the Bedrock team. They even managed to give the marketplace a custom animation. And if you hover over it, you can see the citadel and the volcano. Super impressive with this. It features all of the hermits that participated in that season. Now, this is awesome. I know a lot of people are excited about this, and I really do hope in the future, more SMPs, more creators world, cough, cough, Stampy's lovely world, can make their way to the official Minecraft marketplace. Now, there's a couple of things I would like to say before we get into this. Decked out and other Redstone-related minigames they don't work, and it's quite sad. But we do actually have some kind of updates, which could mean in the future it might actually work on Bedrock Edition because there is actually a working decked out on Bedrock Edition. Let me show you. Doc M tweeted saying, One day I will tell you the story of when the release of Hermitcraft 9 map on the Bedrock Marketplace almost failed because of the deceptions of a certain goddess in a certain perimeter. LOL. Now, the response from Doc M was from Brinkman Ship, who is the director of the Minecraft Marketplace Partner Program. And he basically just said, I argued that we need to relax policies across the board. And they agreed. That's why we managed to get Hermitcraft 9. Now, the Minecraft community is super happy that Hermitcraft 9 is now available on Bedrock Edition. Specifically, if you play on Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch. But also disappointed at the same time because we don't have data packs. We don't have the same redstone. So, all redstone builds do not work. Now, interestingly enough, everyone was talking about decked out. And then this user right here actually said... Hey, I've actually converted decked out to bedrock fully at this point. Version 1.5. All known bugs have been ironed out and the add-on used for custom assets uses stable APIs. So it should be somewhat future proof. And he provided a working decked out to for Hermitcraft. So there is a possibility that this might get introduced in the future. Now currently you can download this on Planet Minecraft or completely free. So if you're on iOS or Android or PC, you can try this right now in a working Hermitcraft 9 map. But the one that we have on the marketplace doesn't quite work. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Welcome to Hermitcraft Season 9. Here are some things that might help you on your adventure. And it says this is a conversion from Java to Bedrock. It's not 100%. All right, so we'll grab a couple of things here. I'm just excited to see some of the builds. Now, I'm going to say my knowledge of Hermitcraft is going to be incredibly rusty. So if I forget name locations or who built certain things, then I do apologize. But man, honestly, seeing this on Bedrock Edition is super, super impressive. I gotta go and see Doc's builds because I believe he built the perimeter with, I believe, I think it was a carpet bomb, right? A carpet bomber. Being able to explore this map like the Hermits once did is super impressive. And the fact that Bedrock Edition can run like 30, 40, 50, all the way up to like 96 chunks is super, super impressive on a world like this because a lot of the creators in Hermitcraft don't actually have the power to do this on Java Edition. And I remember this. This was built by Falsy, right? I remember seeing it on her Twitch live stream. This is Doc's sandstone store slash glass store, right? But the sad thing is, man, I know the redstone doesn't work. <laughs> it's so painful. Someone should go through all of the redstone builds and make them work. And then the developers can kind of update the map uh sand yeah i remember 
I remember this. And I remember there should also be sand in, I think it's the front door, right? If we go, I gotta go all the way around the back. Check it out. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just fanboying a little bit over some of these things. I'll be honest. So we have them. Nah, there's nothing in them. Nothing currently in them. I imagine they probably cleared out a lot of stuff. For the simple fact that they just didn't want to cause lag. The pig pen. Oh, they did include the custom uh, artwork. That, that's actually really nice. Being able to check out Falsy's castle myself is something I really love. The hard work and dedication that these hermits have is so impressive. And I love, I absolutely love the blending of the colors here. Well, this is on a huge scale. I have a friend, shout out to Charged, who would also build in this kind of environment. And honestly, I have I have so much respect and I admire so many builders who can just carve out the icy peak areas and just turn it into a living surrounding area. This is on a different scale. I know this isn't the biggest build in here. I know I was going to go and check out uh, Doc, Doc M's place, but I just keep getting sidetracked from some of this stuff. Now, sadly, on Bedrock Edition, we're going to notice a lot of Steve heads. That is because the Hermits use custom data packs that lets you have custom heads. Uh, Bedrock Edition, there is resource packs out there very similar, but unfortunately, Bedrock Edition doesn't actually have those things. Kind of sucks. I imagine some might well be Steve heads, but I think most of these are meant to actually be custom things. And some of the things that's meant to be on signs and some things that are meant to be inside of item frames also might not necessarily be there as well. The map even features the trading card game, which actually became an official thing for Hermitcraft. The only sad thing is I know there's redstone underneath here and I just, it doesn't work. It makes me sad, bro. I wish they would just put redstone on, on parity for both of them. Yeah, a little bit bummer. But I think this one can actually be converted. Trust me, I know Scarland when I see it. I think for this, I have to turn on RTX. I need to see how incredible Scarland is going to look like with RTX on. Well, it's made all of the floor shiny, at least. Um, <laughs> my RTX pack might be a little bit outdated, but I just wanted to have a little bit of a look especially at Scarland with RTX on. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Y'all check this out. I got to see the big castle itself though. As we head down the main, the main strip here, it's going to render in. Dude, this is so cool. I don't want to check out the rest of it with this on though, because I like the fact that Bedrock has really large render distance. And I appreciate that from a Bedrock perspective. Here is a dragon egg. Didn't... Was it this season that Green was duplicating these with Doc M? In his gaff? I think it was. I, th I think it was. Yeah, I don't know why everything's like glassy, but... Come on. Show me this beautiful castle. I gotta see it. We're gonna, we're gonna fly and render this beast in. There it is. Check that out with RTX on. <laughs> it looks good. I, I really appreciate this, and... And the reason why I appreciate this is because I could never build on this kind of scale, ever. So when I see that, like, each individual built their own respective builds, block by block, stream by stream, day by day, it makes me just really appreciate Minecraft and, and, the, and the Hermitcraft community. And Minecraft is in general, dude. Look at that. Oh, I love this. All right, anyway, we can turn off RTX in real time anyway, which is, is also... An impressive bedrock edition feature but look at that man the main strip I feel like i've just entered disneyland yep there it is the ender dragon made out of ender dragon eggs green and doc right they were duplicating these i remember <laughs> wasn't the plan originally for this to house an ender dragon the thing is with a build like this You'd actually think that this was done in creative by multiple people, but it's not. It's not done by multiple people. I think, I think it was a carpet bomber. It was some form 
of redstone contraption that was used to carve all of this out but this this is one of my favorite builds in here i love absolutely love the artwork around the outside truly phenomenal doc is just built differently he really really is and i noticed <laughs> anti mumbo anti green no entry <laughs> i i love this this reminds me strangely enough of one of 4j's old mini games do you remember the spleef one and, and you kind of in like a dome like this I might be wrong here, but is this the area they were testing how far Skulk could actually spread? Because in the process of Season 9, we were getting Ancient Cities and Deep Darks. I think Azumavoid was doing something along those lines. I think I've seen a separate video from him. And there it is, the Citadel featuring decked out which you can see right behind me here a little bit sad that it doesn't work on bedrock edition i hope they can resolve that at some point but you just got to go and explore it's not even just this build it's the other local builds as well that are just built above and beyond what i thought any minecraft player was possible of doing and i love this i get serious like lord of the rings vibes from this yo look at that portal now that's what we call oh, bro i've done it again another build that deserves to be blessed by rtx yo things pop so much now obviously the redstone related things do not work unfortunately but you still get to appreciate the phenomenal work that's gone into this yo check out that oh i love this i love this the difference between rtx on and off in a build like this is truly phenomenal and again Another prime example of the custom heads not actually showing. And obviously the redstone components that make decked out as decked out. And everything that comes together to make it possible. So that's one thing. One thing I think all Bedrock Edition players are hoping for. The conversion of decked out would really, really complete a build like this. Now I know I might not have explored all of your favorite YouTubers' builds and creations, but that's okay. That is for you guys to go and do yourself because it's now available on the Minecraft Marketplace for completely free. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. And who knows, we might even see more SMPs and YouTuber creations on the Marketplace. Have a wonderful day.